Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you the Speed Fusion Remix ROM version 4 how to install and the features and the improvement from the uh, its uh, predecessor uh, version 3 so without wasting time <laughs> Let's boot into recovery mode. We'll go into the uh, recovery. Where is it? Okay, here. Yeah. So, if you have advanced power menu like me, you can directly go to uh, recovery mode like this, or you can turn off your phone and press the volume up button, the home button, and the power button. And here's the data of recovery. So first thing you need to take a backup everything I uh, take everything in my backup and swipe to backup this time I have not taken a backup so I'm gonna take it let it finish and you can also see how it finishes after finishing the backup we can get the screen so now let's go back let's select wipe and wipe everything so yeah you can continue without uh, wiping the internal storage it's on your risk uh, i tell you every, uh, every day to uh, clean install so we'll wipe everything but do not wipe the micro sd let's go back install and search for the speed fusion remix and now we'll reboot after installation yeah it has the aroma installer and the reboot command but can uh, see backup EFS every time so if you lost it you can easily get it restored or you may have problems have calling and other things so don't mess with the EFS so this will uh, be easily install it's not like that a big file but And yeah, this is uh, in this version the marshmallow launcher is removed and we get the no good launcher like a pixel but we have that drawer which you can remove and like stock based pixel and I am also making the uh, comparison video of the pixel experience ROM which I have not uh, yet uh, reviewed so should I review it or not or I will wait for the newer version please tell me in the comments if anyone is watching this video <laughs> so yeah a new version of the pixel experience rom is going uh, will be coming out so i'll review that because i missed the pixel experience launcher rom that was good but i missed it. So i'll review the next version so this rom is going to be installed now. yeah it's installed now and we'll click next now reboot device so the flashing problem is the screen problem don't worry if you have this flashing, uh, flashing uh, screen flashing problem you may occur like this so oh boot loop so this may happen with you but don't worry your phone will start anyway so same boot splash logo and i think same boot animation nothing is to like boot animations are not changed same sound i don't like this sound i don't know why and this boot on anim boot animation after uh, sometimes looks like an old kitkat boot animation not means like uh, kitkat boot animation it likes it is like in that era it is released kitkat that time of the kitkat <laughs> like the google logo is also very old power by android it, it's also old now the new fonts are coming so it should looks more stylish so in the next version we sh want a more stylish boot animation if the developer is listening so let this rom boot up as you'll see the boot animation is same as above and let me explain the features to you after the boot the virus came to end and now we can see this setup wizard so I'll skip this now so this setup wizard is uh, like the same old one nothing is changed everything is same and here in the status bar as we can see so the system UI has changed to good lock 
So good luck. Okay, I will add everything later. So now you can see the home screen is not like changed, but the launcher and some things are completely changed. As you can see, we get the app drawer. And if you want, uh, if you don't want, like if you uh, really want to feel that pixel, you can uh, delete the app drawer by placing it on a folder and then removing it. And you can re add it by widgets. And here is the app drawer. So, if you want a pixel feel, you can see this. And this ROM is very fast and smooth. Let me uh, decrease the brightness. So, yeah, you can see this uh, good lock setup. And you can theme it accordingly. The good lock, you can theme it. It's very good. And I use the black and white one. So, that's. So as you can see the apps, some icons are also changed. The phone and here he is using the end launcher. That's great. Very fast. This ROM is I'm not experiencing any lag. It is a stock based ROM. Let's see about device. Software info. So it's the July 1 security patch. So it's a very old security patch. And I think there were no bugs in this. But yeah, it's running on a smooth thing. The thing is smooth like. Wow, this is smooth like hell. So no lag until now. Experienced. And other UI is same. I'll show you what changes are here. Okay, this is the recent panel now. For the good log, if you experience the good log, you can see this is the uh, recent panel. And now uh, here it says uh, multi window, but multi window doesn't work because it's not in the ROM so if you want to enable the multi window just go to system and edit the build.prop there is a, a line row.build.type is equal to user just change it to user debug and yes save the build prop and reboot then you can see inside the developer settings the uh, multi window mode or you can uh, comment down below if you want to multi window on any ROM here is the build number and now the developer options are also there so yeah we have the OEM unlock options so yeah please do this or you may get bricked on the, or you may get stuck on the FRP lock one so there's a video on it so please and the messenger is also the old CM1 so good log and launcher everything is same wallpaper is also yeah same it's not updated like but uh, good luck is not like that good uh, you can experience the stock like uh, same user interface but like it's nearly good to stock as you can see this android nougat like icons and we get more from here so we don't need like push it away so here the power saving more the data the flashlight so the toggles are working so there are no toggles like they are not working or this good log because good log supports android marshmallow and this phone too so there is nothing like it won't support see camera is same is the htc camera so some apps supported from htc and sony camera is from htc and gallery also from htc i think and the sony has uh, sorry the music player and video player are from sony so we can see uh, like a mixture of <laughs> many apps from Google. Uh, there is no Samsung app. See, all these Samsung Samsung apps are very heavy and they eat up our storage. So let's see storage and RAM performances. Sorry, storage remaining, not storage performances. And it's 5.25 GB used of 16 16 GB. And now we are getting a holy like 10.75 uh, GB. So that's exactly very good and near to the lineage os so that's very awesome in this rom remove all those shitty apps gallery is htc and here we can see this sony music player it's good not like that bad old one and it's the video player so everything is uh, working i've rested this rom uh, day after uh, okay day before tomorrow Day before yesterday, 
everything is working battery life is also very good and compared to the uh, build version 3 of this rom i think this is the uh, quickest one that version 3 was have uh, was having some lags due to that marshmallow launcher but now we can try this and we get the google assistant in build so that's good i think the build did brought progress already did so that's for uh, today and we'll meet in the next video and now uh, we need to uh, if you have uh, if you found this helpful please press the like button and if you found anything wrong with your phone if you stuck at somewhere of it's not working anything is not working please comment down below in the comment section and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for more videos too because many videos are coming many developers are developing pixel experience rom is also been uh, developed in uh, a very high version so let's hope something is good we can get the latest security patch too so bugs are fixed so goodbye for today and we'll meet tomorrow thank you for watching goodbye